you know, as you know, that most addicts are, you know, put into jail instead of rehabilitation. With my son, Daniel, he had a mental illness. And um, when you go into the schools, they don't really know, like, you know, how to handle mental illness. So what they would do is every time Daniel was annoying or would act out or bother people, he would be separated. He'd be put into, like, you know, an isolation in a sense, not isolation like in jail, but into a separate room. And he would always be like, you know, moved out of the way in that manner. And there there weren't really qualified people, you know, to say or to understand the mental illness. So you're starting out with a kid with mental illness. So it's like a our whole society, it's like a broken mental health system. And then as he got older, you know, because he couldn't really, you know, socialize with people, he was always ostracized and made fun of. He started taking drugs, and that got him into the broken jail system because, as you know, when somebody's mentally ill, when Daniel would go to jail, he would most of the, you know, almost always end up in isolation. And you're talking about somebody mentally ill in, like, a small room the size of a bathroom with no, you know, very little medication, if any, untreated, and then he would come out worse. So the broken system is, like, it would be, like, jail, the hospital, you know, relapse, drugs, you know, the street or my house or in jail, the hospital. It's like a system keeps going round and round and round. So that's why, you know, um, the addict's mom is working really, really hard now. We are partnering, you know, on um, the Gloucester Initiative, which is um, when our, you know, our police force is now not arresting our children in Massachusetts. <laughs> Did I say horribly? I can't say that word for the, for the life of me, but... Um, they're actually giving treatment to people instead of putting them in jail. And if you do get arrested, they will not charge you. They're actually going to offer you to go to treatment. So Tam is actually partnering, and we're going all over the country writing to, like, all the mayors, police stations, police offices, and trying to get this initiative to be across the country. Our guest is uh, Barbara Theodosio.